The Trump administration could soon be looking into the University of Texas over its admission policy. The Justice Department is moving people into a new team to investigate intentional race-based discrimination in college admission. KXAN's political reporter Phil Prazen shows us civil rights groups are worried that that could crack down on UT's policy of using race as a factor in choosing students. Austin president of the NAACP, Nelson Linder, says education is the key weapon to reconcile historical wrongs. If you don't have access to quality education, these disparities, they're going to continue. If you want to stop it, you've got to guarantee that folks have education opportunities. He's worried the Justice Department will look to end policies helping black and Hispanic Texans get into college. I mean, that's frightening. The Department of Justice, the Department of Injustice, I mean, they have a lot of power. That's the government saying we're going to flip up on our policies. That ought to be alarming. This could reignite a debate that has ran right through the city of Austin, specifically here on the campus of the University of Texas. Last year, the Supreme Court upheld UT's policy of using race as a factor in determining admissions, defeating Abigail Fisher, who sued after she was denied. The group's Students for Fair Admission sued UT again under the Texas Constitution. It's not right to inflict one wrong to try to correct for another wrong. Volunteer Executive Director Corey Liu hopes that the administration files a court brief in their favor. We're all citizens and we have equal rights and we should have equal opportunity without our government sorting us based on our race. When asked for a comment, UT Austin referred to University President Greg Fenves' comments on the lawsuit that they believe in and will defend their admission policy. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. The New York Times originally reported the story based on an internal memo from the Department of Justice. Today at the White House press briefing, the president's spokeswoman said whoever leaked that information to the Times violated DOJ policy and they do not confirm or deny possible investigations but would always review any evidence of racial discrimination. Taking a closer look at who gets into UT Austin, this year the university must automatically admit students in the top 7% of their high school class. That will fill up 75% of the slots at UT Austin. The other 25% is filled by the university. They select qualified students based on class rank, test scores, prior coursework, personal achievement, resumes, letters of recommendation, race, and ethnicity. After President Trump